What's up guys, Jacob here. Today I'm playing the Numa X Piano GT from Studio Logic. It's got a great touch for piano players. I think that is gonna be the type of person that's gonna love this piano the most because it just feels really nice. There's this guitar key bed, it's a new model, and it's especially great whenever you're playing acoustic type things. So acoustic piano, uh, I mean, I could just get lost playing for hours on this thing. Pressing acoustic piano brings up the other kind of piano sounds on the instrument. Here's Japan Grand. Let's just keep trying out a few. USA Grand. Italian Grand. Wow. Vintage Grand. And there's way more in this category. Pop Grand, Rock Grand, Upright, Electric Grands, Honky Tonk, Saloon, you name it. The other sound categories you have are Electric Piano, Keys, Bass and Guitar, Organ, Synth, Orchestra, and other. Let's change to a couple other presets using the main encoder here, the main knob, and let's check it out. The first few are Grand Pianos, which we listen to. Here's an EP, Mark I. This program has some effects on it already. We can turn those off here in Insert FX. Turn off A and B, and now there's no effects on this EP sound. But now let's turn A back on. Now you can see this is Auto Pan. Three different things we can change with this Auto Pan. We have the speed, depth, and pan which you change all those things here. Now the second FX is an equalizer, which is one of the FX you get, and it's the same thing. I can change low, mid, and high. If I wanna use a different effect, if I long press here, I have all the different types. So I have chorus, flanger, phaser, rotary, auto pan, tremolo, equalizer, and compressor. So you get two inserts you can put on each sound in the FX section. And next to that is Master Delay and Reverb. Here's Upright and Vocal Pad, so this is a layer. In the instrument audio zone section, I can turn on different layers and I can have as many as four sounds going at the same time. So if I wanna turn off, say the vocal pad, just press that, now it's just the upright. Vocal pad back on. And I can adjust the levels of each zone. So zone one is upright, now that's low. Bringing it back in and I can add other zones very easily. You can layer any sounds you want. You can also split them and set the zone of each sound across the key bed, and you can split between those four zones. And you can save it anywhere, but let's go to the empty programs, which the first one is here around 46. So here's 46, just the German Grand. So let's engage another zone. We'll go ahead and turn on zone two and we can make that anything we want. Let's go to bass guitar. Here's a fretless bass. 
Let's check out a few other programs here. Here's one that's got a split already in it. Here's a bass and ride in the left hand. And vibes. And you can access that split here by clicking split and you can see where those instruments are and you can set them all to be on any part of the keyboard you want. This keyboard has two controls called stick one and stick two. Stick one is automatically a pitch bend. That's to the left and right. Up and down will give you modulation. And because it's 360, you can control them interchangeably. And then you have stick two. You can set those sticks to whatever you want, which is great. So any effects you want to automate or anything you want to do live while you're playing, you can map those to the sticks. Believe it or not, this keyboard also has a built-in four-channel digital mixer. We can access that here, and you can see we have our audio inputs. So you can send in different instruments into the inputs there, and you can basically use this to mix in a live performance. You could have guitar and a bass, maybe another keyboard of some type, and perform live all with this. That's really cool. And of course, you can control gain and EQ for all of these. Here's a gain, and you get a low, mid, and high EQ. Let's quickly go through some more sounds. Here's a FM piano. Uh, here's a whirly. If we go into keys, we can, oh, here's some clav sounds. Got a few other variations here. DX piano. Really nice. Bass and guitar, acoustic bass. Let's see, electric bass. Fretless. And some other guitars, acoustic guitar. For the organs, there's a preset in here I already know. Here's Jazz Organ 2. And Stick 2 is set to control the Leslie speed. Here's a synth pad. Vocal pad. Ooh. Synth bass. <laughs> and a few other ones, monster. Oh yeah. Orchestra, strings. Violas. Here's cellos. And you have different articulations. Here's tremolo. And in the other category, you get things like accordion. Choir sounds. Different syllables. A little run through the I.O. You have a USB here for, of course, using as a controller or sending sounds back and forth because there is software you can use to look at the sounds inside the instrument and also save some of your favorites or your presets. 
MIDI in and out, and you have that five pinned in, that classic MIDI hookup. Headphones, left, right, out, and then you have four ends, which is how you can use it with the built-in audio mixer. Three pedal inputs, which you can use for expression pedal or switches, but I would definitely use that triple pedal that comes with the instrument. It works great with those grand pianos and it lets you use a lot of the subtlety of the instrument and bring out that realism in these beautiful grand piano sounds. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. If you've got any questions, please put those below. Remember to like, subscribe, click here for more videos like this, and go to sweetwater.com for all of your music instrument and pro audio needs.